The T-Pain big ass chain is horrible. <laughs> That chain right there, I got more texts and emails than I've ever gotten before when he unleashed that chain upon us. It is a big ass chain. That chain is what ruins T-Pain for all of us. And I love T-Pain. Don't ever do that again. That thing is a monster. I've never seen him wear that besides in this one picture and that one performance. It looks extremely heavy. That's very Kanye West of him to do. Of course, it's not a day-to-day -day thing. It's more of a performance piece. It's more of, you know, stage attire. But he definitely made the statement that he was trying to make. Kim made him take it off. Probably, yeah. The Tiger Garfield. Those are from his darker days. We can't say that. We won't see him in that now. <laughs> I made that piece. You did? Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> this is an interesting, fun, unique piece that he did do earlier on in his career. The eyes light up, he used orange sapphires with old gold put around, it's completely 3D, so it's definitely a statement piece and less of a fashion piece. I miss the Waka Flocka Muppet chain. It kind of fit his personality because he was, you know, very animated, very all over the place. They look alike, that signified kind of where he was at at that point in time. He was, you know, sort of a character in his music, in the best possible way, of course. But during that area, that's what people, were, a lot of guys in hip-hop were wearing, particularly a lot of the, the rappers coming from down south. Yeah. The Migos QC chains. Those are very loud. Very, I go to the mall in Atlanta. <laughs> Lennox Mall? Very, very Lennox Mall. True Religion has a sale. We're about to buy the whole store. Everybody loves the Jesus piece. We gotta bring that back. Jay-Z's a less is more type character as well. You'll never see Jay-Z doing too much. Yeah, he's never gone overboard with the chains, but he is also somebody that commands trends and sets trends. This is the money bag chain. This is something that's synonymous with hip hop along with the, uh, the Jesus piece. That chain is symbolizes the best era of Lil Wayne because he used to wear that every day. That's really when he moved towards the forefront. That's Bape Lil Wayne as we like to call it. Birdman, give him his money back, please. <laughs> that was a great time in my life. That was my um, that was my youth. Froze on top of the world, especially being from Long Beach. With all the things he's doing with Snoop Dogg. I saw him at a Long Beach Poly game wearing that chain once, skateboarding, and he fell. And one of my friends was like, "I wonder how much that would cost to fix." But my reply was, "You know, if he bought it, I'm pretty sure he can fix it. It just it looks obscene in person. I've seen him a couple times wearing it. It looks crazy in person. It's well made, well done, and he does it with taste." Gucci Man once said it's the crazy man with the crazy chains. And he's lived up to that his entire life. It's the 1017 piece, the ice cream piece, the Bart Simpson piece. Gucci Man is one of those people who, you know, does what he has to do. You know, he is a standout individual. So when I see that, I see something that probably only Gucci Man could pull off.